the Gardener by Sarah Stewart Illustrated by David Small The 27th of August, 1935 Dear Uncle Jim Grandma told us, after supper, that you want me, to come to the city, and live with you, until things get better. Did she tell you, that Papa has been out of work, for a long time? And no one asks Mama, to make dresses anymore? We all cried, even Papa, but then Mama, made us laugh with her stories. About your chasing her up trees, when you both were little. Did you really do that? I'm small, but strong, and I'll help you all that I can. However, Grandma said to finish my school work before doing anything else. Your niece, Lydia Grace Finch. The 3rd of September, 1935. Dear Uncle Jim, I'm mailing this, from the train station. I forgot to tell you, in the last letter. Three important things, that I am too shy, to say to your face. Number one. I know a lot about gardening, but nothing about baking. Number two. I'm anxious to learn to bake, but is there any place to plant seeds? Number three. I like to be called Lydia Grace, just like Grandma, your niece, Lydia Grace Finch. <music> On the train. The 4th of September, 1935. Dear Mama, I feel so pretty in the dress you made over for me. I hope you don't miss it too much. Dear Papa, I haven't forgotten what you said about recognizing Uncle Jim. Just look for Mama's face with a big nose and mustache. I promise not to tell him. Does he have a sense of humor? And, dearest grandma, thank you for the seeds. The train is rocking me to sleep. And every time I doze off, I dream of gardens. Love to all. Lydia Grace. The 5th of September, 1935.
Dear Mama, Papa, and Grandma, I'm so excited. There are window boxes here. They look as if they have been waiting for me. So now, we'll both wait for spring. And Grandma. The sun shines down on the corner where I'll live and work. Love to all, Lydia Grace. P.S. Uncle doesn't smile. The 25th of December, 1935. Dear Mama, Papa and Grandma. I adore the seed catalogs you sent for Christmas. And, Grandma, thank you for all the bulbs. I hope you received my drawings. I wrote a long poem for Uncle Jim. He didn't smile, but I think he liked it. He read it aloud and put it in his shirt pocket and patted it. Love to all. Lydia Grace. February 12th, 1936. Dearest Grandma, thank you again for the bulbs you sent at Christmas. You should see them now. I really like Ed and Emma Beach. Uncle Jim's friends who work here. When I first arrived, Emma told me she'd show me how to knead bread if I teach her Latin names of all the flowers I know. Thank you again for the bulbs you sent at Christmas. Now, a year and a half later, I'm kneading bread and she's speaking Latin. More good news. We have a store cat named Otis. Who at this moment is sleeping at the foot of my bed. Love to all. Lydia Grace. P.S. Uncle Jim isn't smiling yet, but I'm hoping for a smile soon.
The 5th of March, 1936. Dear Mama, Papa and Grandma, I discovered a secret place. You can't imagine how wonderful it is. No one else knows about it, but Otis. I have great plans. Thank you for all the letters. I'll try to write more, but I'm really busy planting all your seeds in cracked teacups and bent cake pans. Grandma, you should smell the good dirt I'm bringing from the vacant lot down the street. Love to all. Lydia Grace. The 27th of April, 1936. Dearest Grandma, all the seeds and roots are sprouting. I can hear you saying, April showers bring May flowers. Emma and I are sprucing up the bakery, and I'm playing a great trick on Uncle Jim. He sees me reading my mail, planting seeds in the window boxes, going to school, doing my homework, sweeping the floor. But he never sees me working in my secret place. The 27th of May, 1937. Dear Mama, Papa and Grandma, you should have heard Emma laugh today. When I opened your letter and dirt fell out onto the sidewalk, Thank you for all the baby plants. They survived the trip in the big envelope. More about Emma. She's helping me with the secret place. Hooray! Love to all. Lydia Grace. P.S. I saw Uncle Jim almost smile today. The store was full. Well, almost full of customers.
June 27, 1936. Dear Grandma, flowers are blooming all over the place. I'm also growing radishes, onions, and three kinds of lettuce in window boxes. Some neighbors brought containers for me to fill with flowers, and a few customers even gave me from their gardens this spring. They don't call me Lydia Grace anymore. They call me the gardener. Love to all. Lydia Grace. P.S. I'm sure Uncle Jim will smile soon. I'm almost ready to show him the secret place. The 4th of July, 1936. Dearest Mama, Papa, and Grandma. I am bursting with happiness. The entire city seems so beautiful, especially this morning. The secret place is ready for Uncle Jim. At noon, the store will close for the holiday. And then we'll bring him up to the roof. I've tried to remember everything you taught me about beauty. Love to all. Lydia Grace. P.S. I can already imagine Uncle Jim's smile. The 11th of January, 1936. Dear Mama, Papa and Grandma. My heart is pounding so hard, I'm sure. The customers can hear it, downstairs. At lunch today, Uncle Jim put the closed sign on the door, and told Ed and Emma and me, to go upstairs and wait. He appeared with the most amazing cake I have ever seen, covered in flowers. I truly believe that cake equals 1,000 smiles. And then, he took your letter out of his pocket. With the news of Papa's job. Dearest Lydia. Papa has a job now. 
Come back home. We miss you. Love always. Mama, Papa and Grandma. I'm coming home. Love to all, and see you soon. Lydia Grace. P.S. Grandma, I've given all my plants to Emma. I can't wait to help you in your garden again. We gardeners never retire. The end.